Hey everybody, welcome back. So today we have a dragon, an animal drawing. So how to draw a dragon. So we've got a landscape page. Use a pencil and hit your pause button if I go too fast. So I'm just gonna start with just about the middle of my page, maybe down a bit lower than the center point, but I'm right on the middle line. And just a little bit, the center point maybe is like here somewhere. I'm just gonna go down a tiny little bit and we're just going to start with the sort of his brow area right in the middle here right so so we're just going to do a sort of a curved line here like this right just to start us off and it's got another curved line right beside it right so we're pretty much kind of symmetrical okay so this is the center of his frown sort of his big frowning face right <clears throat> so this Curves down, around, back up here, okay? This comes over the top of his nose and then starts to travel up towards his eye, okay? Don't worry if they're not exactly the same. You're just looking for that general sort of frowning, bumping shape, okay? So we're gonna go up like for his eyebrows now, right? So we'll do this side first, the left side. So we're just gonna like draw a line and we want it to be a little bit bumpy, okay? We don't want like, a straight line because our dragon is pretty scaly and you know bumpy and stuff so just want to go up to about there and then we do pretty much the same thing on this side right so we're going to go up bumpy up like so okay kind of about the same height just there so coming down the inside of this we're gonna add some spikes right some like horns and thorns and bumps and things just something like this depending on what dragon you want to do of course you can do bigger spikes smaller ones but just don't do so big that they cover his eye this so consider this like his eyebrow you can do it as kind of randomly as you want it doesn't have to be exactly like mine okay so we got this kind of W shape now and then in here we have his eye so just about here a little bit leave a bit a bit of room on the top there and then we're going to curve around So his other eye, just over here, about the same level. So we just bring it around. Go around, kind of like a, you want a circle, but just not the whole circle, because it's cut off by his eye just there. And then we do just a line down, you know, for that snake-like lizard eye just here. Like that, just a light one. Nothing too major. Real thin lizard eyes. And then same thing on this side, just a real thin line coming down. Like so. Okay, so around his eyes, we've got some details. So like coming around, say from his, from the frown down here, right? So we're gonna bring it up like so. And then we're gonna go around Depending on, of course, what type of dragon you want to do, you know, you can style it up any way you want, really. So it's like an eyelid sort of line just coming around here. Might be some details coming down in this way. And then we'll add some scales or stuff coming in towards his eye in there. Like that. Maybe make these a bit bumpy on the outside. And we'll add another line, just a light one coming around it. Just there, just underneath, just giving those details. So we're gonna add some horns coming around the top. So coming here, so some scales and bumps and things. So 
say like here so we'll have like a point sticking up like so with a line in the middle so that's just like a horn or a scale and we'll do another one beside it just here just on his brow pointing up like so bring this around a bit more and then we'll give him a frown line so just like a brow line just here a couple of light lines like so and you know you can add as many of these as you want i'm gonna add another one just here it's like a triangle or like a pyramid type shape you know just making it look a bit 3d and then there's two just here like so another one beside us just these mini sort of horns and things just giving them some texture and we'll put one just right in the middle here as well like that and another sort of brow line just here And then we have another one of these spiking sort of shapes here. Like so, another one behind it. Just there. Doesn't have to be symmetrical, remember, on both sides, they can be slightly different. And another one just here. And we'll do these scales around his eyes as well. So we're going for like scaly lizard sort of dragon style. So going around like this. And down into his brow line there. And some lines coming off. Going around, going around this side. Going around like this. You know, and every now and then you can add some like scales you could of course cover the whole thing in scales if you're really ambitious and you have all day and all night but little things like this will should be enough like just around the edges you know to suggest that it's a reptile so right the nose we'll do the nose so the thing to remember so the distance between the eyes right so like here so whatever this is, that's the same distance to like the middle of his nose, just here. So you could like put a little line just like there. So that is the same as this. Like that and that. They're about the same. So once you get that in the right place, we'll do his nose. So his nose then will come down the side here. His real wide nose, right? And we'll come down the side over here too. Curving out like that. And we might put just a, a little shadow just in here. Just to darken up the inside of that nose. Like that. And then, so the outside of his nostril, sort of here side of it here as well right so that's the center point and then we just bring the nostril down a bit more like here like so so then in the middle you'll have a sort of a V shape just here at the center point And then we'll have a ridge for his nostril just along up here. So it like comes around like this, just a bump coming down like that, like so. And then in there we have the actual dark part of his nose, right? So down at the V, comes up and around, back down like so. And it's like dark inside here. Might have a shadow or something in there as well and then we might have like a ridge line just coming up along here we 
do the same thing pretty much on the other side. Comes out and around, down, nostril. Like so, shadow on the top. Course, if you want you could do scales all over the nose if you'd like so like this kind of thing so like just sort of coming down around his nose here if you want but it's not 100% essential there might be another just a line on top of his nostril and then these sort of scaly lines here coming down his nose like so and we might have some detail and more lines inside the nose as well so you could add like a line here and here you can add some snarling sort of wrinkle lines just along the side here like so maybe a couple more like like a V sort of shape there then another sort of frowning line like like so like this kind of thing a line maybe down the middle another sort of frown line like there and of course you can add little detailed scale lines just little patches of scales or go ahead and cover the whole thing in scales totally up to you right so we'll finish his so his face so we have it comes down to his mouth just down here right so we have like a big snarling face mouth area great description uh, so th that's where it is like his mouth starts, right? So comes down, it's like a big joker smile, like so it goes up a bit higher. So right, starts there, and then bumping, bumpy sort of line because his teeth come out of this. Like that coming down around his mouth or his nose, should I say? So coming down from this, we have teeth, right? So you're better off starting sort of in the middle and working your way out. So we've got like, just here at the middle point, we've got two sharp, big sort of teeth here. Okay. And then we sort of, the same on both sides, right? So we've got like this kind of thing. And another one here. side they kind of get smaller as you go like that and we do the same thing over the other side spiking and feel free to do your own style teeth you know it doesn't have to be exactly like mine you do longer teeth more jaggedy more shark like teeth you know totally up to you so the bottom of his mouth so we have like two really big teeth fangs here on the side right and it's kind of closed off there on the side one there another one here that kind of thing and then bumping down we'll do the same sort of line so we're gonna like bump around each gum sort of area That kind of thing, real bumpy, okay? And then down here, these are the big ones, and they're kind of like four small ones in the middle, two big ones here. So say like, say there's like two here, big enough, nice. Pretty big, not massive, but two there, 
and then in here we've four more, right? So like a smallish kind of one, another small one there, another smaller one there, and there. And then we fill in the gap as well with three more. Like that. Like so. So inside the mouth, so you have a choice, right? You can leave it white, you can color it all in black, or you can try and you know, draw in a tongue. So I'll do in the tongue, and if anyone wants to, you know, copy it that way, you can. So like you just draw in like a line that way, and a line that way, coming down the center, kind of there. And then there's probably like a curving sort of line here for the side of it like that and there might be some hatching underneath for shadow maybe some hatching in here you know for the inside of his mouth and we'll do another side tongue line here with some hatching just to make it look a bit darker underneath okay now so the darkness of his mouth will come in right to the edge of these teeth okay so just about here around the side of his tongue. Okay. And then the side of his mouth just is here, right? So that his bottom jaw starts like, like just there. And we can just see two smaller teeth on each side. Like tiny. Forgot them. Like that. And then in here is black. So then his chin, right? So his chin, he's got a real pointy sort of chin. So it comes down just down here. Up around the other side, just to there. Okay. And we might have some like lines and details, sort of bumps and things. So the side of his face now. So we'll bring this up like so. Just around his mouth. Going up this way, okay? Like that first. It's his bottom jaw. There's some more spikes and horns and stuff coming off here, but we'll do his face first. Kind of get the structure. Like so. And we'll go up real far then. So we just add some more details now down in here, now that we have that closed off. So you can add some like scales, some more sort of skin lines, maybe some lines like coming down from the teeth, you know, like to show the kind of bony sort of things just coming down from here. Maybe just to show that, like, they're, you know, growing out of his skin. Kind of like that. Maybe something similar up here. Just shading in a bit more of his tongue here. Making it look a bit darker underneath the teeth, maybe. So the teeth stand out a bit more. Like so. So then, right, so the face. So we'll keep going up. So we'll go up and about just above his nose, you're gonna come out to a horn. So like we start the horns now and it comes out like this, comes back in. And it has a sort of a skin like bumpy area just here. Some lines going around and you could put some texture lines on the actual horns themselves if you wanted, kind of like that. We do the same thing over this side. So we'll bring it up. And then it kind of goes out, spikes up to a horn, and back into there. And we have another sort of bumping spike section. And comes in maybe a bit further there. Some skin going around, some texture on the horn, like that. 
So in around his eyes, right, he's got like cheekbones. So like another layer of armor, right? So just where this sort of horn comes in, right? So say on this side, like it's going to come down like this, come around into his nose, just there. And then pretty much the same thing over here. So that comes down around his cheek, back in towards his nose, like so, okay? And then there's another layer underneath. So this is all like sort of dragon armor and stuff, right? So like layers and layers, like so. Now if you want, you can add like scales along the edges or you can add more horns and things, but not. 100% necessary. Kind of like the starts of some scales or stuff like that. Bigger ones, smaller ones. You know, totally up to you. That kind of thing. And on, on the way back up to his eye, I'm going to add, on my one anyway, I'm going to add just some spikes sticking out, right? So just like this kind of thing. like that back up to his eye and then we'll curve a line bumping around the bottom here and you could add just coming down like so just adding some details just coming down that eye you know just little texture lines and I, I might shade this this up here just add a shadow underneath his cheekbone just to make it look a bit thicker. And we'll do the same thing over this side. So we'll add some like spikes and scales and stuff. You're just making it bumpy and pointy and any way you want. You could do it smooth, you don't have to. I think it looks cooler though when the, the more spikes and stuff that's on the dragon. That's just my opinion though. Art is personal, it can be Whatever way you want. And maybe just a line just coming up the side of his mouth here as well. Some scales maybe on his cheek, you know, wherever you feel. I'm gonna add a bit of drool coming out of his mouth. <laughs> Maybe another bit just hanging off his mouth here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm like a kid drawing dragons. Um, okay, so he's, we've got another sort of horn coming out from the side of his face here, right? Another one. So coming up like this. Going down into his face just there. Another one here. to his face like that. Might be some texture lines just coming along that way and up the actual bone part of it, like so. Okay, so before we move up, we'll finish just the bottom of his face, right? So we've got some more horns sticking out just along, like sort of wings coming down along his face, right? So like, like here, you know, this kind of thing. And these could be fins, you know, if you wanted to leave it like, like this kind of thing, they could be fin-like, or you could make them um, bones as well. So like just by adding this kind of thing along the bottom. But you know, if you wanted to leave them like skin-like, you could do that also. And then scales. Kind of stuff like that. And we'll do the same thing over here. That kind of 
thing and we'll add some texture. Some scales every now and then. Some texture lines, you know, just little lines like details and stuff. And I, oh, I do a shadow under his cheek just here. I'm just thickening up this line, that's all I'm doing. Just makes it look like a little bit of a shadow underneath his cheekbone, that's all. And maybe this, I may thicken up this line too. Just around his nostril there. Like so. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. So, right, the big, the big horns that he has, just coming up the side of his head, right, coming out from, say, the corner of his eye, right here, okay? So we're gonna go up, right, like this. The other side will just be here, growing out of his head, okay? And then we'll have, like, a scaly, bumpy sort of section here, like that, and this might have scales coming around you know, in the corner, maybe going down the horn. Just trying to suggest scales rather than having to draw them all, you know. You can draw them all if you want, of course. Maybe a line just coming in there. And then the, the actual horn itself. So, you, so now it's up to you. You can go like super long or stumpy or like medium. So I'll just go in between. I'll, I'll just go up to the, as far as I can go in the top of my page. So I'll just go curve it this way. And I'm gonna give it a little curve going the opposite direction. So you could curve it up and then go back in, but I think I wanna go more like devil horn and go like that way. So give it a couple of curves, you know, and then we'll go back in. Curving that way and then back into there. Like so, and some texture as well. That kind of thing. And we'll come over and do the same thing over here. So coming out from the corner of his eye, comes up and then comes over to about here. That kind of thing. And then we'll bump it, scaly, to a section like that. Might be a line just here as well going into his head and again we can add scales and then we do a horn like this over here so we'll go double curve again like this snake it out that way and bring it back and we'll go back down into here And then some texture on it. Like so. So we've got some coming around just the side the sides of his head and up the middle. So we're gonna do one just here. You can do as many as you want, of course. Lines coming across, scales, just to show that it's his skin. And then a horn. Smaller one. Pointing up here. Kind of like so. And he's got like a fin coming up the center of his head, right? It's not a horn. It could be a horn if you wanted. But I'm just gonna, it's like a scaly sort of fin, sort of thing here, right? Comes down the center of his head then into there. 
joins that sort of section there. Maybe a line coming down the middle. You know, and there could be some scales on this as well. And then a horn like this on the other side. So same sort of thing. Do the top of it. Goes up and out. Back into here. Scales. Like that. And then the sharp bony horn coming up this way. Back down like so. And some texture. Like that. So I'm going to add a few more coming down this way, and then we're done. So, da -da -da. so say like one coming out here. That's like the end of it, and then coming back like so. Then you bring it more into here, like this texture. Scales and stuff. Another one back here. Mix it up. Have it curve in a different way, maybe. Side of his head, maybe just here. And yeah, so we'll just do this over here as well. So. sticking out there and the final one so we just oh yeah we have another sort of line for the side of the head with some scales on it and then a horn sticking out just here comes back in maybe we have a line coming across and some texture okay I think that that is everything. I hope it was helpful. And of course, it, like you can give them a neck or anything. Like you could do a neck coming down, sort of, or wherever. Like it's a big neck, it can go off that way. You know, curve around, or you could just leave it like this. And I think that's what I'll do because I kind of like it like that. So I hope it was helpful. Um. Yeah, how to draw a dragon. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.